What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be giving you a NEO stock update. There's not a better time to be buying the NEO stock. The market is very shaky right now and that's what you want to be doing. You want to be buying in on weakness, especially when there is multiple analysts giving much higher price targets. You're buying for a bargain. You're buying at a perfect time frame. We're going to be seeing if the NEO stock is a great buy right now. We're going to be looking at some bullish calls. Some analysts just came out out with we're gonna look at some headlines we're gonna do some EV comparisons to other company and just see overall if there's a buying opportunity right now and only if you feel this video gives you a better insight on the NEO stock be sure to subscribe to the channel I'll be keeping you updated daily with all of the growth stocks and spec plays there's gonna be a lot of great information coming out and you don't want to miss it let's get into the video as we can see here the NEO stock is hovering right around forty two dollars and eighty cents with a seventy billion market cap I believe it hit a high of around $54, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, like two weeks ago, and then pulled back very, very massively, you know, the past two weeks, especially after Jerome Powell came out with those inflation data headlines, you know, 0.9% month over month, you know, that was a pretty bad headline. We were not expecting it, and the entire market just got rocked this Friday and this week. Look at these pullbacks, you know, almost 1% in the NASDAQ and Dow. This is great buying opportunity for sure. Neo can definitely pull back, you know, into the, you know, mid 30s. This is definitely possible, but as long as you're going long term, you should have nothing to be afraid of. You can always average down on weakness, but the best thing is you're not buying at all-time highs, you know. The stock was at 67 bucks. You're getting a crazy discount. If we go over to tip ranks, there is nine buy ratings with zero sells and zero holds as of now. This price target is always going up weekly. I checked it. It was up 62 a couple weeks ago, 63. Analysts are always changing their price targets. $64 price target right now. That's 50% upside. You do not find many of these bargain deals out there with companies with, you know, growing revenue, growing margins, you know, doing everything right in a global pandemic with the chip shortage right now. So this is a great time to be buying. Neo is performing very well with the outcome of the market right now with that, you know, global chip shortage supply. They are absolutely killing it. We could see their most recent headline, you know, on their deliveries. Neo shakes off chip shortage with more than 8,000 deliveries in June. So they set a all-time high even in a global chip shortage, this is the best news humanly possible. But guys, we want to see what kind of upside can this stock get to by the end of the year, okay? We know that they have capacity right now to hit 10,000 units. You know, if the chip shortage, you know, gets, you know, evened out. You know, they can hit 10,000 units month after month. They are very capable of doing that. So I believe that that is going to happen in the next 60 days, the next two months. We're going to be seeing a 10,000 unit mark and this could definitely get the stock, you know, another three, four dollar higher price target raise. This is definitely possible. So if you go into CNBC and you take a look at this video right here, this is China's bet on electrical vehicles. This is a video they put out with Dan Ives at Wedbush Securities. We can see that Wedbush Securities, you know, has two point four billion dollars under management with about 6,000 clients. So these analysts aren't just, you know, putting out some, you know, risky calls, especially with the dilemma going on with China. They're not going to put out China companies that can put their clients at risk in this time frame. That's what I've been trying to tell people. You know, the NEO stock is not, you know, a DD. You know, the NEO stock is backed by the government of China. The government bailed them out. The government has a stake in this company. It's totally different. There is tons and tons of, you know, technology companies out there that are having, you know, problems. We know that China is always in control and they are in control of NEO. They are backing NEO, guys. They would not be putting out a bullish call on any China stocks if it was not safe at this time frame. And as you can see, they're operating with $2.4 billion under management. So this is very serious when they're going on CNBC and putting this live, you know, after hours, you know, at five o'clock. We're not going to watch the video. This is just the main headline of the video. Stocks to play China's EV boom, okay? They have Neo, Xping, Tesla, Li Auto, GM. So I listened to the whole video. I watched it twice. And pretty much what he's saying is, you know, Tesla is their go-to, of course. You know, Tesla is 
you know, the most fundamentally sound Tesla is the biggest market share. Tesla has been doing EV the longest. But he said specifically the best EV plays right now for China are definitely going to be Neo and Xping. These are definitely my top twos as well, specifically Neo. So there's tons and tons of EV companies that popped up about 20 to 30. But definitely these are the top two I would be going with, guys. And this is a bullish call by a big, you know, Wedbush management, you know, with $2.4 billion. So this is something to think about, guys. Neo is a safe call right now in China. And I want you guys to understand, you don't want to be massively, you know, high risk in the China market, you know, maybe 10 to 20% max of your portfolio in China. You definitely don't want to go all in 50, 80% of your portfolio. You know, China is, you know, a larger risk, you know, with all of that, you know, government crackdown, government control. But, but personally, I have about 10% invested in the neo stock feel very comfortable with that position i'm going to be holding this stock you know for potentially a decade to get an understanding of neo's potential in the next three years you really need to look at the big dog you know that is tesla you know this is the one that you know holds most of the market share and i want you to really take a look at their deliveries guys and see what kind of growth they've really made these last three years we know that neo is expected to deliver 90,000 vehicles this year in 2021 take a look at these deliveries guys 22 32 50 76 neo is right here at that 2017 mark now you have a good understanding if you did it of how far behind neo is to tesla they are about three years behind but can they hit this massive jump of 245,000 units in 2018. Is that possible? It's definitely possible. Neo renews contract with JAC annual capacity to be doubled to 240,000 units. This deal was just signed two months ago. Once that chip shortage, you know, unravels, guys, everything that Neo has been working for is really going to start taking off at the end of this year and especially heading into next year for 2022. Talking the same amount of units Tesla was doing in 2018. So in my personal opinion, so as far as vehicle deliveries, Neo is three years behind Tesla right now, okay? We can make up some crazy ground in the next three years. If we compare market caps right now, you know, uh, Tesla keeps hovering in that 600 to 700 billion dollar market cap and Neo is hovering right around 70 billion. That is 10x opportunity. I don't care what anyone says. These EV companies are growing at a rapid pace, guys. You have potential 10x opportunity in the next three years. According to these deliveries, which we can see, these are confirmed numbers, guys. 240,000 deal. Tesla was doing 250,000 units. Just for fun, just to give you guys, you know, a three to four year price target, Neo has 1.6 billion outstanding shares. To get to a market cap of $700 billion, the price target would have to be right around $440. So we have a lot of YouTubers, you know, putting out these crazy price targets, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars in their thumbnails. As long as they can verify when these price targets are being confirmed at, you know, then it's very reasonable. So I would say in the next three to four years, you know, due to the extensive growth of NEO, this could be a 10x opportunity in three to four years. So right now we do have a $64 price target on the NEO stock with the deliveries that they're doing right now. If they can continue to push out 10 to 15,000 units plus by the end of the year for the next five plus months, this price target is going to raise significantly. And I think by NEO day, there is opportunity for NEO to be over $80 plus. This could definitely happen. We've already hit $67 last year. This would be a market capitalization of around $128 billion on revenue projected to be around $6 billion. A bit of a high multiple. So with a market capitalization of $128 billion, on revenue of six billion that would be around a 21x multiple for 2021 very very reasonable 
with the extensive growth of Neo with back-to-back -back years at nearly 100%. So a 20X multiple would be pretty high on a you know car company, but these are the future. This is not legacy anymore. This is future. This is full 100% EV with extensive growth and opportunity in the China market share. A bullish article just came out the other day, three reasons why Neo can top $60. Neo is delivering the goods. Neo is on pace to deliver approximately 84,000 vehicles in 2021. That will fall just shy of the company's original projection of 90,000 vehicles. This is not a guarantee, guys. It could definitely be higher. No one knows exactly the pace of, you know, China ramping up its auto sales with the chip shortage. So it could be much higher than 90. It could be in the 100,000 plus. We will, we will have to wait until December to see. The support of the Chinese government. The Chinese government is throwing its weight behind Neo in an effort to ensure the company attains EV supremacy. It doesn't matter how you feel about Chinese government. Its aid has been and will continue to tremendously helpful to Neo. In fact, the company was likely headed for bankruptcy before government bailed it out after one billion dollar injection into Neo. The Chinese government has 24 percent ownership stake in the company. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone. This is different from that DD situation and other government China crackdowns. They are backing this company. This is a great company to invest, you know, 10% of your portfolio in if you want to be diversified in the China market. Buy Neo for the growth now and in the future, guys. Once again, 50% upside. You're getting extensive growth already priced in. Since last reported its quarterly earnings in April, three analysts have increased their price targets on Neo stock. And one analyst has initiated coverage of the shares. In all four cases, the analyst price targets were higher than the current price in Neo stock. Guys, this is what you're betting your money on once again. You're betting your money on the upside potential for next year in 2022. Crazy production growth. If we go from 90,000 to 240,000 units, that's almost a 200% increase in production guys the real fun is going to start once we exit this full chip shortage and the inflation data slows down towards the end of the year this is a very frothy market we're in right now once again but you want to be buying slowly on weekend but you want to be buying slowly on weakness a good opportunity a good thing to be doing for yourself is just slowly buying in you know maybe every two weeks on a stock that's dropping you know once every two weeks just buy a little bit more a little bit more if these stocks continue to fall that's what i'm doing i'm buying about every two weeks inside of the market once again the neo stock can definitely drop back into the high 30s again this is definitely possible with the frothy market we're in right now you know a lot of volatility with that inflation headline. So you just want to be safe, slowly buy in, slowly chip away. Be very, very cautious on options right now. I wouldn't recommend anyone in their portfolios to invest more than 20% in options. Definitely invest, you know, leaps if you're going to buy options, you know, a year out. But try to keep your options under 20%. Very, very risky right now with this uh, volatile market we're in. So just be cautious. But just know that Neo has crazy upside potential when you compare it to the biggest EV automaker in the world, Tesla. We are three years behind Tesla right now. 10x opportunity in the next three to four years. The highest the Neo stock could probably reach this year is $80 to $100 by Neo Day. If they really do hit those unit sales of 10,000 units plus. So you just got to stay patient, guys, once again. Be sure to take a look at my other videos on the YouTube channel. You know, this channel is really bullish on the SoFi stock. So be sure to take a look at those videos. And only if you feel this video gave you a better insight on the Neo stock, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be keeping you updated daily with all the growth stocks and spec plays. There's going to be a lot of great information coming on. You don't want to miss it. I hope you have a great day.